Hi, this is Sterling Jim Trouts from EXP Realty coming to you from Fairfax, Virginia with my friend Paul Stivers from Embrace Home Loans. So uh, we want to take a couple minutes, talk a little bit about um, how sometimes um, the lowest price doesn't always equate best value. Um, just last week I was speaking with Karen uh, Daly from Echo Title and we talked about this as it relates to real estate agents and title companies but didn't really get into it so much about the lenders. So I was hoping how you might be able to go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about how sometimes the lowest price and the lowest rate is, isn't is always maybe the best value that a, pe a person can get. Right, that's a, that's a really good that's a really good question. Um, so really what it comes down to, when I when I first talked with my clients, I, I set aside at least 30 minutes in person or on the phone, and, and one of the things we, we dive into is goals. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what is your end goal? Is it the lowest rate? Uh, is it the lowest lowest uh, settlement cost possible? Lender lender cost? Is it service? Um, and you know we really kind of dive into that. And sometimes it is the lowest rate, but oftentimes, more often, it's it's about value. Okay. So it's about yeah, you know the rates rate is important. I mean for for anyone, the rates are going to be important, right? But I think sure. most people want the at least from my experience want the want the complete package. Um, so. So one of the things we do, what I do, is I really dive into the rate uh, discussion. I mean, I hit it head on. It was, that's one of the first things we talk yeah. about. And, you know, I, had, I kind of come from a, a point of education. So, so what we talk about is, hey, uh, you know, you're going to be seeing a lot of rates out there on the Internet and so forth. And you're going to have, you know, one lender here that's got this rate with these fees. And then you're going to have this lender over here with this rate and these fees and so forth. But the only real way to know what you're actually getting is to compare it apples to apples. So I always try to uh, get them to buy into the uh, providing me their estimate from my competitors, so that I can actually show them, yeah, this this is this actually is a pretty good deal, which I've done before. Okay. I'll tell them the truth. Um, or you know, hey, they they're charging an origination fee, a one point origination fee. We don't charge an origination fee. Uh, we just charge our underwriting fee, so you're actually in this instance you're actually paying more for that rate. Okay, so if I understand you correctly, the the best rate isn't always the best value. In other words, you can have someone that might be an eighth of a point less than what you guys are, but there might be hidden fees that maybe they aren't aware of, and you have to educate folks on that. Right, and that's where that's where actually um, you know getting them to trust me, building the rapport. And, sure. and uh, having them provide me with a copy of my competitor's estimate so I can actually educate them that, hey, I mean, you know, these lenders' fees are a little bit more, mm -hmm. plus, plus they're charging you, you know, a half a point discount fee. Oh, it's a discount fee. Well, I'll tell you what a discount <laughs> fee is. It's, but, you know, in this, in this uh, competitive environment, um, there's nothing wrong with it. But a lot of lenders are, you know, they're trying to show their lowest rates there, but there's always... Oftentimes, there's there are fees involved. Not the always, the but oftentimes. The intangibles you can't see, right? Right, exactly. Right. So okay. what I what I kind of come, uh, I sort of approach, take the approach of I'm I'm helping my clients shop. Yeah, if that's what they want to do. I'm helping them shop. You know, one of the things that I love about working with Paul and all the people that I work with is that they are more interested in the client and what the client's looking for than what you know maybe a particular deal might get them. And I I really appreciate that because if I heard you correctly. Um, if somebody thinks that if, if you think there's a better opportunity for someone, and it might not even be with you, you'll you'll tell them that you probably need to go somewhere else. Is right. That right. Exactly. I mean, I haven't seen that happen by the way. Right. With you guys yet, <laughs> no, I mean, there's. I don't care who you are, which company you work for. There's always going to be somebody that can do it cheaper. Sure. You know, and and maybe they don't have the support, the service that that, that uh, we we provide that I provide here at Embrace Home Loans, but. Um, you know, I've had an instance. One was a few months ago, where yeah, I mean, there was an internet lender that was that was uh, willing to, um, you know, uh, provide quite a bit lower rate, yeah. and I told them that's a good deal. Go with that. I was just thinking about your point though about being cheaper. Cindy and I just had our deck done by somebody that did it cheaper. Um, I think I would have probably been better off doing it myself. So. Right. <laughs> I've been there. Know. I've been there before too. <laughs> so. Uh, anyhow, um, we uh, we are also uh, want to go ahead and plug. We have a home buyer seminar that Paul and I do. Uh, we did one last month. 
Um, and the we had an overwhelming response to it. And we thought, well, we're going to go ahead and do this every single month. And it's an opportunity for people to come in, take a look at you know what they're what they're trying to do as far as buying a house. They can learn about the process. They can learn about how to get funding. They can learn what direction they need to move in. They can learn the step-by-step process of how do you get from where you're going. They can learn everything that's involved in all of it. And Paul and I are going to be doing that uh, this coming Saturday and maybe talk a little bit more about that. So Right. So so it's going to be this Saturday from 1030 to noon over at the Corner Coffee House in Fairfax. It's, mm-hmm. it's a nice little place. It opened up about a year ago, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's same ownership as there's there's a Baskin Robbins right next door, same owner. Yeah, and nice and we're just we're going to go through the uh, the whole process of buying a house from soup to nuts, and uh, the I mean the most important thing it really is getting all your questions answered. Right, um, because there's going to be some gaps in there. I mean, it is not meant to to give you everything because we'd be there for hours. But the more thing is to give you kind of a high high level overview and have you. A- ask any questions you like yeah and, and that's really important because a lot of times there's a lot of stuff that we'll cover that you may have already thought about and 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 were had a question about or there might be a question that comes up that you didn't think about that we don't discuss it, it's really a great opportunity it's free there's no obligation there's no pressure if you're a real estate agent bring your clients out you know we want them to be uh, uh, smart about what the process says is maybe we can help you out but uh, just pass the information along to somebody that you know uh, might be looking for a house now or even in the future. It's absolutely free. In fact, I think we're even giving away a gift certificate while we're there. Uh, free coffee, right. free uh, pastries. You can't beat that, right? Right. So, exactly. exactly. So we're yeah. having all that. So we'll have you out of there by noon. Yeah. Great. Before. Absolutely. So this is Jim Trouts from EXP Realty. And Paul Stivers from Embrace Home Loans over here in Fairfax. Uh, we thank you for your time, and we'll see you next time.